One. Two. The welt that developed on her back represented the price of justice, a gnarled and righteous cause. The lunch lady was happy to correct. Wait, it was her. She'd done it all for the meat. We have long known that chickens can live for years with their heads cut off. Recently, embedded Mideast war reporters have been dosing with huge infusions of chicken blood. The force of Ike's scratch made Ike's face to turn red as his fidgeting finger plunged deep in his head. When your diggling digit grows a mind of its own, who knows who controls the wriggles it gives? Ryan Regert scratched so religiously that the sore on his arm grew into the shape of a small church. The more fanatic he scratched, the deeper the itch became, until Ryan was more church than child, wholly swallowed by the swell, gone. When she messed the rug, he rubbed her nose in it until the foul of her unpleasantness was gone. Sam gave his wife a special gift. Oh, Sam, you shouldn't have. In that moment, Benny realized his pain had something important to say, something vital to our nation. Mama! Our sores are sources of wisdom. Mama! Which won't be silenced by any man. Mama! Benny told the wound he was not technically its mother, but maternal instincts kick hard, and he found himself breastfeeding the little fellow. Violet became so beautiful she grew beauty marks. So many that soon you could no longer see her face, just the beautiful beauty marks. It caused Merv to cross his eyes with such whimsy he was forced to confront every hijink, jinking the depths of his psyche. And the winsome gobs stoked Dustin's hope they'd be kind enough to absorb his pain, too. When it martyrously obliged, Dustin went on a pain spree, abusing himself with the gusto of a teenage girl at shy camp. The sweet meat lapped up every twitch of suffering like a biscuit sops gravy. At sauce camp, he couldn't get enough of the meat's generosity. Every screech of agony was proof someone cared. We all love to feel loved. It's huge. Thank you. Thank you so much. The simple Balinese maiden revealed her deepest shame to her husband, that she was a corpse herself filled with bees who sent her there on a mission to prove to butterflies once and for all that the true nature of the universe is chaos and is beautiful and must never be defiled again.